All right, uh, I think we see quite a few participants uh, joining in. Uh, I think uh, what we can do is sort of start out. Uh, so first of all, uh, ladies and gentlemen, esteemed colleagues and valued guests, uh, good evening and a warm welcome to the Impulse Product Roadmap webinar. Uh, the first of 2024 and hopefully not the last, right? Uh, we're thrilled to have uh, every one of you join us today for this exciting journey into the future of employee engagement. Uh, I'm Joshua, and I have the pleasure of guiding you through today's session as we explore the cutting edge features of uh, success stories and upcoming announcement that make Empulse a true game changer in the realm of employee engagement. Uh, today's engagement is packed with valuable insights. We have a very distinguished panel uh, of experts here who will be sharing their knowledge and experiences with you, right? Uh, but before we dive into the details, let me set across, uh, you know, a little highlight of what makes Empulse stand out, right? Empulse or Employee Pulse is not just a platform, it's a catalyst for positive change within organizations. With innovative features, it empowers you to elevate your employee engagement initiatives, fostering a workplace culture that is not only productive, but also fulfilling. So in the next hour, we'll explore the latest features, including the must anticipated milestone rewards. We'll delve into real success stories from top clients who have witnessed transformative changes in their engagement programs through Empulse as well. Uh, but this webinar is not just about talking at you, uh, it's more about engaging with you. So we have a live Q&A session where you can interact directly with our panelists, ensuring your questions are heard and answered. Where specifically, we will have an entire session of 10 to 15 minutes where we'll probably take up these questions and answer them the best we can. Uh, furthermore, we're excited about the prospect of collaboration beyond this webinar. Uh, we'll explore the possibilities of testimonials, blogs, references, and reference, making you an integral part of Impulse's success story through a feedback survey. So don't forget to fill this out. Uh, and the 10 best responses do get rewarded. Uh, it's around a thousand rupees for uh, the best, right? Uh, so without further ado, let's embark on this journey together. Buckle up for an insightful interactive session. Introducing our speaker for the evening, Isaac John Wesley. Uh, quick little introduction about Isaac. Isaac is VP product at Impulse. His experience extends beyond product. It initiated and designed, uh, primarily with a design mindset. So a lot of what you see is a current in the current product is the brainchild of Isaac. So now I'll hand over this session to Isaac, who will take us through most of what of the subject line. Isaac, over to you, and you can take this forward from you. Yep. Hey, um, thanks, Joshua. Hi, hi everyone. Uh, it is a wonderful evening to meet uh, quite a lot of folks. Uh, from extinguished guests and people who are customers of us, as well as uh, people who are um, eager to know more about employee engagement as a space, uh, rewards and recognition as a space. Um, we are um, less experts than you guys, and we are just enabling through a platform. So I'm here to share as much as insights, uh, uh, you know, value adds, our learnings, uh, as much as possible. Uh, this session is not more about, uh, that's why this session is not done by any sales folks. Uh, it is done by product folks. It's nothing to sell or anything. It's about uh, what we have done over the years and what we are actually planning as a roadmap. And we have a philosophy of building together. Um, we take every customer together in the journey, understand their needs and build along. And this is one of the uh, rituals that we practice every year uh, to build together. We publish our roadmaps on what we are building on three key milestones. And that's the context of this call. It will not take more than 25, 30 minutes of my talking. Um, I will leave more room for question and answers, things you are excited about, uh, clarifications or doubts you may have, 
throughout this session uh, or anything around rewards and recognition survey space and everything um so parallelly i will just uh, share my screen and um, uh, you know take you through a couple of decks which i had prepared for you guys um joshua who is going to help me here uh, is my screen visible joshua yes it is visible go ahead great so um so yeah uh, thanks once again for joining in this wonderful evening it is quite a remarkable scene to see a good good number of crowd on a thursday evening had we kept it on a friday evening we would have seen a little more lesser participants <laughs> but uh, thanks to joshua for giving this idea on a thursday evening um why do you need to listen to me uh, in this conversation like uh, am i credible enough to talk about a topic like this um so here's a little bit about me right like maybe i'll just take few seconds on that um i'm a, just a humble product manager who loves building people products um and uh, i i i have seen technology acting as a catalyst uh, in moving people uh, previously i was with an insurance company called plum i was director of product there i was with a company again as another people product called hacker rank uh, over the last 10 years or uh, 11 years i have uh, built a couple of hr tech products and what has really helped me realize is uh, uh, technology uh, in the hr tech space if enabled very well it can do wonders uh, from you know preventing a you know very har harrowing horrible situation at a hospital uh, to uh, you know as much as rewarding making people smile and so on so i believe in that uh, uh, you know motto and this is where i am today um so that's a little bit about me and why i think um, you think i think you should listen to me in the first place um a little bit about impulse right uh, it's not a very uh, rocket science product for sure right so i'm a product manager i should not be talking like this but uh, i'll be very humble enough to tell you what is simple steps of impulse right is what is simply as a product what does it do uh we want to solve just three simple problems that are happening amongst people inside organization just three the three things which we feel very closer to our heart and uh us myself even have faced this problem and the leadership team the co-founders have also faced this problem and we picked this area right three critical problems of an employee life cycle is uh i mean i should just ask you guys how many of you are you are people managers you are people folks you are people success folks uh tell me one person who have not heard their employees tell to them um that uh, hey i don't feel very recognized in this organization this is a very standard term quite uh, normal amongst all employees uh as and when the organizations grow bigger and bigger so the feeling of recognition uh is a little harder problem to scale uh because um uh, you know managers are different uh incentives are different and so on and so forth so we want to feel uh, you know help really truly on how we can make people recognized second is the feeling of disengagement what's happening in the organization i really don't know this if you have heard this phrase this is those employees um i have no clue about what 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 the ceo told in a public event i don't know what's happening in the public markets i don't know what's our goals and so on and so forth so that level of disengagement of employees and when i say employees it's from all spectrum of levels not just the leadership team or the managers and the third problem that we are trying to solve is the feeling of uh, listening right or hearing uh, uh, my voice is being heard um and i think this I, every people managers or people success people have realized this value that uh it is imp important that you also have a road map of how company wants to drive its people but at the same time it is also important to understand from bottom up what is the voice of people uh what do they like what do they dislike what do they like about the organization what do they like about their managers um what do they like about the policies what do they want in their policies right so these are all constantly hrs and people success uh, managers are uh, in the search of uh, okay can i listen to people the more you do this i think uh, the more you are building a very people centric company 
So this is the three simple problems which we want. We are trying to solve with impulse. As Joshua said, impulse is employee pulse. Uh, get to know the pulse of your employees is how we started off. Um, and that's what we are doing. We are an all-in-one employee engagement platform. And a little bit about us, we have uh, enabled uh, 20 million recognitions uh, happen through our platform uh, in Impulse. Uh, this is a very proud moment for me to say that uh, that a platform which started off like with a problem statement that employees don't feel recognized, but today we are at this state at this uh, stage where we want we are seeing 20 million rewards and recognitions that has happened in the past, and we want to we see this as a starting point. We want to get to how do we make it 200 million. Um, second is we have seen 120 million rewards given dollars worth of rewards given through our platform. And uh, it's very interesting to see these are all, uh, I mean, there are companies which also give physical rewards, they go offsite, they entertain themselves and they have their break off time, which is good, which is not, which I'm not saying disregarding at all. But post COVID, we are all living in a little semi hybrid world, right? So we have employees who are participating offline and, uh, and also online who are in the factory floor and who are also online. So uh, how do we kind of create a equitable reward platform? And that's that's uh, something of a success that we have enabled people to give $120 million worth of rewards to our platform. And this is not just with India, uh, although I'm speaking from Bangalore in India. Uh, we have uh, in close to around uh, 19 countries very actively working on and uh, four countries would be around USA, Middle East, uh, a couple of countries there, and then India and Southeast Asia. Um, another important milestone we have uh, unlocked is around 2 million users have been benefited through our platform. This is 2 million employees uh, who have been touched by participating in the platform. Another thing is around 6 million engagement events activities have happened uh, in the last year, and this includes lots of uh, uh, you know activities from uh, you know liking sharing posting commenting and so on and so forth um we have a great activation rate in terms of 53 uh, percent of our users are active across months and quarters and this means that these people uh, employees who are generally liking a platform uh, i'm sure uh, definitely i'm sure slack and microsoft team should be at 90 percent because these are core communication platforms but uh, impulse even though it's a little outside work, okay, you can enjoy and you can talk, you can post about rewards recognition, you can uh, appreciate people and so on and so forth. We have seen a great number of active users through our platform. Uh, so these are some important milestones which we are super proud about. Um, and uh, that's uh, really helpful. Now, I want to give you some trivia about it. Um, so one of the costliest award given in our platform uh, I think Joshua chat is enabled for everyone, I guess. Uh, can you guess what award was given here? Um, so the costliest award that was given through our platform in the in the last year, which was 2023, was around $7,800 worth of our award. Um, one person has received it. And um, just a simple guess. Do you do you guess any, any guesses on what type of award could it be? Uh, anything? Uh, retirement. Okay. That's a good answer. Closely good answer. Retirement. Um, someone has said Rolex. Okay. Um, the person could have bought a Rolex for sure. Um, so it was an award for a 10 year anniversary. Uh, so someone had celebrated a 10 year anniversary and this was the award that they had received. Um, we are happy that we have enabled that happy moment for that employee. Uh, another important uh, question which I want to ask, maybe uh, a tidbit about our platform. Uh, can you guess what was the largest gifting event? Uh, the gifting event had around 50 crores or close to $6 million worth of budgets and rewards that were distributed in that event alone. Um, can you guess what type of event could have been that? Uh, any guesses? I'll give you some examples. It could be a Thanksgiving, it could be a New Year, it could be 
um, I don't know, is there a employee rewards day across the world that someone celebrating? Oh, I have heard about it, but we should probably have one. Any guesses on that? What is the largest gifting event? Um, Oram Gandhi has uh, answered it as Diwali. Um, the answer is yes, it is Diwali in India and little of Southeast Asia also celebrated. Um, so in Diwali season, we have seen around 50 crores worth of transactions that were happening through our platform. So what we are trying, I'm trying to say here is the platform is super stable enough to handle any type of scale, uh, specifically large enterprises users. It's a very uh, deeper pain problem in as and when the company goes bigger and bigger. Um, and uh, we were super scalable enough to handle any type of scale in terms of these are monetary values moving from one, one point to another. Um, and uh, I'm really happy, proud that I am working with a team who have enabled such a kind of a scale. So yeah, so that's about Impulse, that's about me, a little of agenda, what we'll be doing today. Um, so we'll we'll see a little, see a little bit about 2023 of Impulse. Uh, so if you folks are here who have used Impulse, who are also using Impulse at the moment, uh, I'll share some critical product updates that happened uh, in case you missed it. Um, so, uh, so this could be a good refresher about, okay, what all the features are there. Second is, I want you to take something out of it. So which means I uh, want to share some, we have seen so many reward programs, recognition programs happening in the last year. Um, we want to share some ideas about how they were successful, what were successful among them. And uh, I have some slides around it. I will uh, give you that. Uh, and some engagement campaigns. And in the future, what we are looking at is uh, uh, some core important milestones in product, what we want to reach. And we want to build it with you. So in case if you have feedback, in case you are super interested about, please subscribe uh, in chat. Uh, please do name the product which you are or feature which you are interested in. Uh, my support team is also here in this call. They would look at it and they would help you in setting it up, in talking more and further after this call as well. So in case uh, the further slides, if you have any doubts, clarification, please just mention the type of feature which you would like to dig deeper. And we are happy to help you both in this call and offline. But uh, also just to add, we also have a feedback form which will run through. So if you don't have any questions right now and we run short of time, you can obviously fill that in in the feedback form and we will sort of take that up again. Just want to bring that up. Yeah, great. So um, what I am super excited about to share in this call is uh, uh, that I am really, really looking forward that you get something out of it in this call, which is practical ideas, features that, that can solve your problems, best practices, industry and insights, right? So I have kept as much as data points for you guys. Uh, feel free to ask in between if you have anything uh, that you would like to take deeper. Um, so that's the agenda and I'll start with the product highlights of 2023. Um, I'm super proud to say that we delivered a lot and this is like a quite a, there are so many other more features, minor features that you have worked along stabilization and making the product better. But again, against many different tangents of reward recognition, employee engagement, service and benefits, these are some core modules that we have. We have uh, launched a lot of features uh, in this last 2023, and we will be continuing to do a lot more feature. And shipping fast is something as a DNA that I enjoy with my team, my engineering and design team. Um, so many of the features that originated from HRs, uh, HRBPs in the past, uh, we have empathetically sat with them and uh, understand what is the pain point and try to solve for that. So in case if you are super interested after this call as well to have a, you have a very specific pain problem or a pain point, um, feel free to write to me. Uh, I am isaac.john at impulse.xoxoday.com or impulse.io. Both email works for me. Um, Joshua will be publishing that anyways in this call, in this uh, uh, meeting. But uh, I'm happy to understand that as well. Um, but I'll be talking a little on core features which we delivered uh, and some uh, folks who are here with, I think it will be super useful for you guys uh, in case you missed it. Um, so we have cost of living index that has been enabled for us, uh, for employees. What that means is uh, your ability to define reward points that are equitable across geographies. You may have employees that are 
uh, in India, in US, in the Middle East, and Southeast Asia in different, different geographies. Uh, currencies work differently in each of these countries and the cost of living is different, right? So we have enabled a, a model where you can normalize this uh, and uh, we kind of like uh, made it really, really simple for users to understand uh, and which means the, the, the rewarding when they are rede redeeming the points, it will be at their local currency. So 100 points uh, in India could be 100 rupees when in the US could be $23 and so on and so forth. So for them, easy to understand how we can normalize that. And we are working with benchmark data industry research reports on top of that to enable this. Uh, second feature that we, a critical feature that we launched is Wall of Fame. Uh, this is super uh, interesting for companies, uh, specifically which has larger organization and which have come from work from home to office setup. Um, now employees want to feel recognized and there are usually in offices, large televisions and screens and you have town hall meetings. So in the start of the town hall meeting or in the end, or maybe in the large TVs, companies are now publishing Wall of Fame. So which is a slideshow of all the recognitions that has happened. It can be weekly, it can be monthly and so on and so forth. Um, that is uh, uh, that is Wall of Fame feature, and uh, we have, I'm super excited to tell you that many customers have adopted this and they have been using this. Uh, we have also uh, uh, enabled direct product rewards. Uh, so what that means is, uh, it doesn't mean that I should give you points and you can convert those points into some kind of a value in our marketplace. We have, by the way, the largest marketplace comparatively to all the competitors. Um, our, uh, uh, what we ventured here is uh, people like physical gifts, physical products. They like to get shipping, doorbell knocking and you know opening the package um, as opposed to them ordering something uh, which they want. So uh, we have enabled reward uh, rewarding of direct uh, products. Uh, so you can create a catalog of what products customers, employees would like to uh, get. For example, let's take a use case. I have completed five year anniversary in my organization and the uh, uh, company says that, organization says that, um, okay, let's give a $200 uh, budget award to Isaac. And you can choose between a Schneiser headset and AirPods or a Kindle notebook and so on and so forth. Some electronics, some non-electronic, it can be books and so on and so forth. And you can collate them, put it together. And when I receive that award, and it will be products which I could purchase. And it can also be gift cards, gift vouchers in case you want to extend that catalog. And this has been super beneficial for people because they are really more uh, happy about you know redeeming a product experience. And this we are powered, powering this through Amazon. By the way, we are the largest uh, partner in term with Amazon uh, in the globe uh, for our uh, rewards and recognition platform. Um, our mobile has been up, uplifted. Um, we uh, we are the industry leader, so there are reward and recognition programs out there in the market, uh, and I have seen not a lot of them focus on mobile. My uh, you know roadmap here for mobile is around uh, employees come in different size and shapes and form. Some some could be all the line. They could be working in an oil uh, factory in a floor. Uh, and some could be in white collar, blue collar in that spectrum. Uh, we want to make sure this platform is equitable to all of them. Um, so we have we have constantly, we have now team of mobile engineers and designers constantly making the product more beautifuler and uh, you know more and more easy to use, easy to consume and reward and recognize and also engage through the platform. Uh, um, so yeah, so that's uh, something which we have done. Uh, one more thing which we have done is uh, uh, in the listening space, in, in order to understand more about the pulse of your employees, we have a core module called surveys. Um, today we have very, very robust features around surveys, including heat maps, uh, which could help you to slice and dice the data in terms of which areas in the organization should I focus on, which are my weak points, which are my strong points, which leaders are good, which leaders are bad. And this is where that pulse is coming from bottoms up, right? Like I'm, I'm sure many of HRs 
who are participating in this call would be doing quarterly surveys, half yearly surveys, annual surveys. So we have very robust features to slice and dice data. We have anonymous and non-anonymous surveys. Uh, employees, uh, and we have benchmarks as well. And today we are building more benchmarking features, which I'll be talking later. But um, uh, these are some things that we delivered and companies have been super happy to use them in the past as well. So that's about product features. And I told you I'll leave you fast. So this is one and then uh, coming to the ideas, right? So what recognition programs that caught our attention as product customer success leaders? Um, so I'll, I'll walk you through some interesting ideas, some very quirky ideas that companies have done in the past, which have been really, really successful. Um, so uh, for uh, privacy reasons, I, should, I will not be able to disclose the name of these companies, but I'll tell you about the program. Uh, some of the programs that these companies have run is one is the rewarding based on for fitness right so um, this company cares a lot about employee health and wellness um, so they created a employee 30 day step challenge um, so basically they created a group where employees can take screenshots of their everyone has fitness trackers today and mobile also tracks that and they can post the screenshot and with the data range and everything and uh, hrs and bps uh, track this and then they award employees based on that. Uh, so this was a very interesting activity. The winners received fitness rewards uh, to keep them motivated in that journey of being more fit. Um, so this gives a sense of also for employees that the company really cares for them, not just from a work kind of a perspective, but also from a well-being perspective. Um, another company which did a physical gifts um, uh, this is very interesting. So this company is a healthcare company, around 3,500 employees. Uh, so they had uh, created dedicated catalogs, like catalog like uh, uh, employees who could like fitness or fitness products, employees who like music products, employees who may like electronic gadgets, employees who may like uh, you know on the table desk stationeries and so on. So what they did is they created this catalog. And they gave this power to managers. Hey, um, I'll give you a budget and you can reward. So let's say if Joshua is working with me and my team, I can think about what Joshua is good at. Because Joshua could be, I, I after working with Joshua for maybe a year now, I could guesstimate that Joshua is a fitness freak. Uh, he likes to be fit. Um, so then uh, I could choose gift products or reward products specific to those category. So when Joshua receives this award, he will see the products specific to his liking. Um, so this company wanted to uh, get into a very uh, sentimental solution around it, and it was super successful, and it has been very well adopted by the entire uh, organization. An interesting more uh, recognition programs that we have seen is uh, we have seen one fintech company. This company is into lots of slicing and data, dicing data. They are a fintech service company and there are 1,300 employees. Um, so which means what? Uh, uh, being in fintech space, everyone should be pro at excels and sheets and data uh, pivoting, right? So uh, for new people who joined the company, they created a program called Train Your Buddy. So they invited employees to teach work skills. It could be Excel, it could be uh, BI reports and how to create them and so on and how to slice these different formulas. Um, and there are pros, there are experts in the company, right? So you don't need to hire L&D managers, L&D program managers. You don't need to have a session. If you could enable rewards for them through the platform and it's what this company did, they created a program and said, hey, if you are teaching uh, your colleague um, and if the colleague uh, also, also does answered a survey that um, Yes, I have been trained on so and so aspects. They gave rewards for the, both the trainers and the trainees. Um, so this was a very successful program that has happened. Uh, another company which is into travel and commute space is a company that I've, I've used almost daily. Uh, it has around 2,800 employees. Uh, it's based out of India. So they created a dedicated day for thanking uh, in a week and they call it the Thankful Thursdays. And they enabled omni-channel uh, participation. So they had stickers within the organization. They had notification. They had emails through our platform. And they enabled that. And the amount of recognition that happened on Thursdays like, spiked up. 
Um, that was a great starter activity. It's like a starting of an engine, which was a little weak. That's how as companies scale, it happens. But once that participation happened, it became a habit for people. Without more of these nudges and emails and periodic notifications, uh, now employees on Thursdays, they take time and they write about uh, beautiful uh, words of praise about their colleagues. So that has been a very, very great participation. Um, one of the quirkiest recognition program that we have seen in 2023 was, uh, uh, this was a really beautiful idea uh, that this company, it's in gaming. Uh, it's not an Indian-based company. It's in the uh, Middle East and they had... Uh, uh, created, um, and I'm assuming that the employees would have uh, felt that, hey, I don't know much people around, I don't know who, who are the people who are working around me, I don't know them, I don't know their names, I don't know their faces, uh, they are new to me, so I think this company keeps hiring a lot of people, and um, uh, to make that a little more fun and sportive uh, event, what they did is they uh, rewarded people, whoever would come on Impulse platform, which is the platform for employee engagement. And they created a group for introductions. So they could, they, they, if I, I have never met Joshua, I would meet Joshua in the cafeteria and I would say, hey, hi, how are you? Who, what do you do? You're in marketing, I'm in product, great. And we exchange notes. And by the end of the two minute, three minute conversation, we take a selfie and we, I would post that selfie in that group. And uh, HR leaders were having a leaderboard on how many people were participating in that event or in that group. And with more people participating for that uh, group and they awarded them with uh, uh, rewards. So, so this kind of created a sense of knowing each other, employee uh, exchanging, uh, little outside work about personal, uh, getting a little more personal about knowing everyone. This is something which is my favorite that happened in the recognition program. Uh, my customer success team, if you are already customers of Impulse, and these are something which I had for uh, engage or recognition program, but there are more. My customer success team is in this call. Uh, you may know many of the names there. We have Rishabh Nas, we have Mirmai, we have Naresh, uh, Pallavi, and so on. Uh, do get in touch with them. Uh, that is my ask. Uh, we have a very powerful product. Uh, they would help you in more and more ideas. They are ready to talk to you. They pick up your phone calls and talk to you and say, um, hey, okay, new year, new resolutions. Uh, what kind of programs can I run? So we have a library of ideas for us with us because we are seeing more and more companies participating through this program. Um, so this is something uh, around recognition. I'll talk a little bit about engagement activities as well. Some really smart engagement activities campaigns that happened was uh, uh, one company did a secret Santa event where they kind of like, uh, uh, their employees shared public post on the secret gifts that they received. Uh, so one fine day, the employee would come into an office, they would look at their table and, uh, and it looks like there are some gifts on my table, but rewarded by my secret Santa. So, so they would take a the photo of that and they would post it on the public forum. Hey, Santa, wherever you are, thank you so much for giving me this gift. Um, and uh, that's a great uh, engagement that happened throughout the organization. More and more people participated in that. The second, uh, this company did a trivia quiz. I don't know if you've already known about it. M Impulse has a very powerful quiz platform. So you can run powerful quizzes uh, and polls within our platform. And this company enabled trivia quizzes for employees, um, specifically training knowledge workers. So these are uh, you know, people in customer support, customer success, and they need to know how to talk to customers, what type of resolution to, uh, has to be uh, dealt with, right? So in order to gain them up in terms of adoption and understanding about the company, they had created these quizzes. So these have a, some really smart engagement campaigns. Um, so that's about 2023. Uh, I know I'm like running a little ahead on time, but um, I would like to talk about just three more slides about our major plans for 2024. Of course, we have a, a full roadmap, which we will be happy to share with you offline. But our critical milestones are, um, we are seeing some future, right? We are anticipating that future and the future of rewarding is automations. Um, uh, I feel 
there is a lot of merit in terms of people to people appreciating and taking the time to recognizing. But there are so much of recognition activities that could have happened inside the office uh, based on activities that are naturally happening in the office. For example, I would have completed a, uh, I'm, I'm a new employee, I would have completed an L&D course or I am a people leader I'm, and I'm constantly uh, uh, achieving great NPS amongst my employees and my employees feel that they, they feel I'm a great manager. Uh, I am a, I, I'm a great sales folk and a sales guy and I'm constantly meeting my quota and achieving my targets. So these are milestones that are happening outside our system, right? So it could be happening in your OKR management tools. It could be happening in Excel sheets, in your sales CRMs. It could be happening elsewhere uh, in your LMS platforms and so on. So we want to aggregate all this data. The impulse will open up its slew of integrations. And uh, as and when people are doing activities within the companies in these kind of platforms, we will automatically enable reward and recognitions for them. Uh, it could be recognizing or it could be rewards. It could be, and we are thinking certain areas like fitness, for example, what we learned from a company which we did in the past, uh, how can they kind of like automate that? Uh, can we automate it with, uh, Apple Fit and Google smartwatches or, uh, uh, and kind of get that data on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, so this gives also a sense of belonging that employees are also feeling that uh, not just on critical milestones I am being rewarded, it is that on an everyday basis I am being rewarded that and for the real work that I am doing. So that opens up a lot of rewarding and recognition uh, avenues for us. Um, uh, and and that I feel is very, very uh, fulfilling for employees and companies who want to build a very robust recognition program. So that is uh, the future of rewarding. And we, we have a lot of AI in this that we are also thinking about how can we uh, use uh, artificial intelligence to predict what type of rewards and so on and so forth that can be given on time. Um, Another space that we are entering is flexible employee benefits. And this is a, this is an, a, a, a project which I'm super, super excited about. Um, basically, uh, we talked about the three problem statements that Impulse, Impulse is trying to solve, right? My sense of belonging, right? Why is Why am I working in this organization? Every company wants to differentiate to flexible benefits or to different benefits that they want to retain talent, right? Uh, so, so far it has been like standard benefits that have been offered to like, like insurance or it could be relocation and so on and so forth. But employees are coming from different demographics. Some employee would be married, someone would, would have a kid, uh, someone would be working or, uh, and very close with parents, someone would be a bachelor. So, and someone will be living in India, someone in the US. So there are so much of diversi diversity that is happening amongst employees. And each of their needs or benefit needs are very different. Uh, if I'm very cautious about fitness, maybe I would take more, uh, more allowances from fitness. Or if I have a kid who is going to school and I would, uh, you know, it would really help me in financial, I would more uh, optimize for school, school fees, um, so on and so forth. So uh, we are building a platform where you can customize these benefits. You can, and we have, uh, in a whole, I don't know if you have known this, uh, XOXO Day um, is a marketplace platform. It uh, Our strength is into partnerships and marketplaces. We have today partnered with 40,000 brands across the globe and through n number of rewarding, re recognizing uh, events, right? And we want to use that power, so we, which we have already very, very strong at, uh, in terms of to enable these uh, uh, benefits. So your mental wellness could be partnered with a couple of vendors who have already partnered with us, gym memberships and so on and so forth. So these are direct integrations. You can, employees will be able to swipe their cards uh, and utilize these benefits or they could use reimbursements. So these are flexible benefits, which I'm super excited about the next, uh, this, this year I'm, and we want to deliver this. The last is uh, benchmark employee surveys and uh, the last year, we, we spent a lot of time in building surveys. Uh, but this year, uh, many of the 
customers who tried the surveys asked us, hey, Isaac, uh, thanks for showing us great reports, summaries, actionable insights, uh, you know, uh, heat maps about what's in my organization. But this is great. How would I know if I'm in a travel tech company uh, and my workforce is India, how am I comparing against another travel tech company based in India? Uh, am I great? Am I good? Am I bad? Is my managers great, good, bad, and all those things, right? So, so we are uh, collating a lot of data from public markets in terms of, uh, uh, and we are working with consultant companies, uh, very large consultant companies to, to collate this data and to provide you insights saying that, okay, if your manager score in, let's say, uh, customer support is 3.8, it's still okay, uh, but uh, uh, an engineer's ENPS, engineering manager's ENPS score in engineering team, if it is 3.8, it is not okay because the attrition in engineering team is much more costlier compared to the attrition in customer support. So this is benchmarking reports, right? So, um, and, and this compare against industries, compared against countries is how we are expanding to that. Uh, am I super excited about that? Uh, we are getting deeper into the understanding the pulse of employees. So that's uh, it from my side, uh, and uh, I, I'm I'm really excited, and uh, uh, and we will be. Uh, it's not an event that is happening annual. Uh, we do have quarterly catch-ups with you guys offline for customers and prospects. We want to continue more webinars and. Uh, uh, give you a sense of what's happening within the product and outside the product. So yeah, over to you, Joshua. Thanks for the time and thanks for everyone for participating. Thanks a lot, Isaac. I think uh, that session was very informative and to give us a glimpse of what's coming forward, right? Uh, in the world of uh, employee engagement and how Impulse is pretty much at the forefront. Uh, I'm going to delve into some of the questions which have come up across and I would request the panelists as well as uh, the speaker, Isaac, to sort of help us answer some of these questions. Uh, let's go through some of the questions. Right. Uh, there's a specific question. Uh, can you share a specific success story that had a notable impact on employee engagement and satisfaction? Uh, let me just look at the panelist. Uh, Mary, would you be okay with answering that question? Mary, you're on mute. <laughs> Happens to the best of us. <laughs> uh, why don't you introduce Mary as well? Uh... <laughs> Mary, we still can't hear you. Is that uh, just me or? Oh, we can't hear you. I think there are some technical difficulties here. Um, journey. We can so, hear you now, Mary. We can hear you now. Um, Mary, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Am now, I audible? Now we are audible. Please stop. Yeah, thanks. Awesome. awesome. Sorry, uh, did any of the previous uh, thing that I spoke come through? No, we missed uh, 30 seconds of your golden words. Oh, <laughs> okay. So let me reintroduce myself. I'm Mary. I'm a product marketer. And uh, I've been with Impulse for almost three years now. And an exciting part of my work is talking to customers and uh, jotting down their success stories. So a recent one that I can remember is uh, for a customer called Gulf Talit. And uh, some of their success metrics were about how do I um, not just retain my talent, uh, which is valuable, but also make sure that I'm able to attract local talent. Now, one of the key aspects that they've identified is, can I have a great culture? Can I have a workplace that recognizes uh, my workforce in order to make them feel valued and appreciate the work and the achievements that they do? So that I think sort of sticks in my mind because um, it was coming from a very simple business metric, um, something that the government was enforcing about hiring local talent, but the way the company uh, took that and extrapolated it to a lot of things related to culture, appreciation, and uh, 
that is how they chose Empulse to implement it. And they have seen some great results. So I'm posting um, a link to that story. So all of you can go through it and understand how not just Empulse, but the company itself took the first step towards making a positive workplace experience for employees. Thanks, Mary, for that answer. Uh, uh, we look forward to also seeing the link out here whenever we have the chance, you can drop it. Uh, we have another question. Uh, would like to know more about Thankful Thursday, more on appreciation and gratitude. Uh, I think, Isaac, would you like to take this up? Um, yeah, sure. Um, so uh, so th basically the Thankful Thursday was an event that was conducted uh, as a regular ritual within the organization that they would come up on a Thankful Thursday on, on, an even, on a day and a time in Thursday. Um, and they would dedicate uh, in the communications feed that, that Thankful Thursday, is, the time has started. You can start posting about your appreciations and recognitions that you feel over the last week people whom you have crossed across or you met in your uh, everyday work. And if they have helped you or if they have participated in any activities that were collaboratively along with you in achieving certain work. And um, this uh, kept, uh, this, this achieved two things. One is employees were always feeling in this organization that I'm constantly working and I'm constantly under pressure of delivering something. And this is a moment to actually take a step back. Right. So they kind of relaxed in this half an hour and they would say, OK, hmm, uh, I would uh, be happy to, you know, uh, talk more about my colleagues and people who have worked with me in the last one week. The uh, second thing that breaking up. Uh, are you able to hear me? Yeah, I think uh, Isaac, you seem to be breaking up a little bit. OK, OK, great. Uh, you are able to hear me now, right? Hello. Yeah, I said we can hear you. I think it's uh, an issue. While I rectifies this, uh, we'll sort of just propagate one more question. Uh, Isaac, can you hear us? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Uh, Joshua, I think there's an issue with your network. I think uh, we're able to hear <laughs> Isaac clearly. All right, all right. Apologies for that. Isaac, please go ahead. Yeah, so, so that was one. And the second was, um, um, uh, was also this a sense of uh, that uh, one is taking a step back and the second is uh, making it as a practice, right? So once you, uh, this company was using that word, right, like employees kept on doing it and over time they never, they stopped Thankful Thursdays. Um, so, but Thankful Thursdays appreciation kept happening because uh, uh, the over time, and this is a, there's a great book called Atomic Habits that it just needs 21 days to learn a habit, right? Um, so once employees kind of got into that rhythm um, and it became as a general cultural practice or a cultural value to appreciate your colleagues. And uh, that was the success out of that uh, program. Thanks a lot, Isaac, for that answer. Uh, apologies for my sort of internet instability. Uh, right. I'll probably just take up one more question and uh, then I think we can sort of shut this down but we do have uh, an entire feedback form which will be shared after this you can put in your questions we'll be happy to answer them we have the customer success team out here we'll be happy to interact with you as well post the session or any other specified time right uh this i think has come from uh someone who's not very familiar with impulse uh how does impulse differentiate itself from some of its other competitors uh, putting this out to the panel, uh, is there anyone who would specifically like to answer this question or Isaac, would you like to take this up? Um, Rishabh, why don't you want to uh, take it up? Uh, Rishabh, uh, I'll just introduce Rishabh. Rishabh is our head of customer success. Many of customers of Impulse, you would have may heard this name very well. He's a very smart, energetic guy, always happy, smiling. So he knows a lot about customers uh, and uh, and and many of customers who we have talked to, you know, already would have had done the shopping and across the market, what types of products are there. So I think you would know more data points around this while I also know, but I would love to give you this chance. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Thanks for that. Uh, 
So a few of the key differentiators that, you know, clients of ours really appreciate, right, are the ability for us to, you know, actually also run surveys on the platform. Uh, what we do have is we have custom pulse surveys, right? Uh, the objective of a custom pulse survey here is to, you know, uh, obviously, you know, uh, dive deep into the, you know, the mindset of the employees, understand their sentiments. And, you know, like Isaac mentioned, we also have the benchmarks for some of the standard questions, right? Uh, so the platform does offer that. And, you know, a lot of our customers are, you know, getting used to it now and they're using it uh, off late. And these, uh, you know, custom pulse surveys, can you know also give you the option to put in your custom dimensions and drivers on the platform and understand the sentiments of your employees for something very specific, right? For example, we had one of our clients who had a lot of shop for employees and they were all women, right? Uh, tailors, etc., right? And they wanted to understand what's exactly going on in their mind, right? Now, not all questions can be you know uh, for both genders, right? So they were able to you know come in with some uh, tailored questions and understand more on those and take it forward, right? So you have options such as those as well on the platform. You're able to get into the depths and you know come up with your own que custom questions as well. We we recommend that you keep limited number of questions on the survey, not too many because people won't answer all of them. But yeah, you can add your custom questions, you know, with dimensions and drivers from your perspective or what's relevant to your organization and what you want to achieve, right? Uh, so that can also be added on the platform. That's one. Apart from that, one of the key, uh, you know, one of the major, you know, uh, award flows that we have in a lot of large organizations is, you know, achieving an award process transparently, right? At the same time, uh, eliminating any uh, element of bias, right? So we have something called the jury awards on the platform. The jury awards are a very good way to, you know, involve a lot of the leadership in the decision-making process and ensuring that any initiative taken in the organization is, you know, uh, re rewarded accordingly, right? For example, let's say one of the, uh, most of the organizations right now in 2023 and 2024 are looking at optimizing costs, right? And the idea here would be to, you know, submit some ideas to the leadership and ensure that, you know, everyone gets rewarded, right? So we've seen the platform being used as a forum to, you know, collect these ideas and it's passing through the jury process and, you know, all the leadership, all the directors, all the executive leadership track people are sitting down, having a look at all of these entries that are being submitted and, you know, uh, voting on them and then giving out handsome awards and the end of it, right? So we've seen a lot of these happen. I do not have the numbers of the scale of savings, et cetera, for some of the companies. But yeah, uh, you know, these are some of the programs that were run by a few of the clients, right? And this is a great forum. Uh, basically, you know, having everyone in the company vote in on an idea and, you know, going ahead and doing that, right? That's one. Uh, so these are a couple of the ideas that come to mind. Obviously, we have a few more, uh, you know, just leaving it open, you know, uh, probably just set up a call with us and we'll walk you through more, right? Uh, I can go on talking about this for a while. Yeah, this is the this is a couple that come to mind right now, how we differentiate ourselves from the others out there. Yeah. Excellent answer, Rishabh. I think uh, Rishabh's speech is a lot of passion and that's uh, pretty much how most of our panelists also have spoken today. Uh, I think with that response, we would uh, sort of look to have some closing remarks. Uh, do remember to fill out the feedback form. Uh, we'll be rewarding the 10 best responses. So Isaac, would you like to you know, end our session uh, today with maybe just some closing remarks? Yeah, so closing remarks is we are uh, on, the, on, the, on the note which you just mentioned, we are we are all passionate when we talk and we get super, our eyes get lit when we are talking to customers and we have more customers and prospects in this call as well. Uh, comparatively to any tool that you may find in this world, I'm, I'm sure I, I would urge you to start like a reward and recognition programs to solve the three pain points which we are uh, we talked about today. That impulse was solving the feeling of not feeling recognized, the feeling of disengagement, and the feeling that employees don't feel their voice is being heard. Um, irrespective of whether impulse or not, I believe you should try to solve these problems because these are the must-haves in today's, uh, uh, you know, the world of people management and the world of understanding people and working with people. Uh, we are very, very passionate to work with you guys. That's one of the biggest competitive advantages, I could say. The way that we kind of like uh, pour our souls and heart into understanding the problem statements, apart from very proactive features, the cutting edge features that we are working on, we really, really love sitting humbly in the meeting, in the office, coming to you, meeting you, and understanding more about your needs. Uh, so this is a team which is very hard to get, uh, irrespective of whatever tool you may buy in the in the market. Um, so bet on us, and and we have so much of success stories that we have delivered as well. Um, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the closing remark. And um, happy weekend and happy um, you know end rest of the day.
Thanks so much, Isaac. Uh, we will continuously keep having more of these sessions, so do keep a watch out. Uh, the shop's always there. The CSM team is always there. To you know, you can reach out. You can reach out to Isaac. We've dropped his email address as well. Uh, yeah, I think uh, pretty much what uh, Isaac has summarized. And uh, have a great day. Thanks everyone for joining. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks everyone.